Hello everybody, welcome to Shunya AS and today I'm going to tell you about Environment Revised Through Multiple Choice Question course. In this course, we have basically tried to have the best possible questions of environment at one place and we are hoping around 400 questions. Through these 400 questions, you can practice these questions to ultimately aid your prelims preparation. So now I'll tell you more about the course. So basically, I'll start with why environment, right? So after the merger of civil service exams and Indian forest service exams, we have seen that the weightage of environment questions has increased. I have also added the trend. trend we add Like you can see, at least you can see a basic of almost 15 questions. It can go up to 22 questions. But basically you are seeing 15 to 17 questions. And if you also add the current and the environment applied questions, it is roughly around 18, 19, 20 questions. So that is a huge weightage of this section. Then the nature of the questions asked are both direct. There are some direct questions, but apart from direct, there are some conceptual, there are some applied questions. So a lot of you have been wondering as to how to attempt these questions. To answer your queries, this course has been scientifically designed wherein we have tried to chapter wise classify the questions. The questions are of UPSC level, right? So when you solve such questions, your mind is trained to ultimately arrive at the right answer through a lot of practice, right? Now I'm going to tell you more in detail. Now for reference, we are using the environment, this environment book. And because this is a base book and we are going to target 400 questions from this. Now, as I've already told you, we are going to have chapter wise classification of these questions. Now, when you are going to solve around 400 questions of UPSC level, you are in a way going to be, you know, battle proof or battle ready. And through this exercise, you are going to be rapidly revising your entire course. By rapid revision, what do I mean? See, when you have a question or any topic, when you are solving it, reading it, solving questions on it, so your overall understanding of the topic increases a lot. So this is the basic motto or our objective of this course. And I will just quickly summarize what are the basic you know, details of the course so that you are able to understand. See, as I've already told you, we are going to solve 400 questions. We are going to solve and there is a chapter wise segregation of the questions and I will also include few previous questions so that the moment you solve a chapter, for example, it's related to environment, health, population, all these things, you will be able to understand the chapter through the questions and also have some previous questions, right? The next important thing is when I'm solving a question with you, I will quickly crisply revise the concept with you. For example, if the question is on maybe food chain, or ecological section, maybe in 30 seconds or one minute, I'll quickly summarize the entire concept so that you are also revising when you're solving the question. Then this is one of the basic uh, important things. We have added images when we are going to revise these questions. Now, why do uh, why are images important? See, when you have a lot of images, the retention part or at least the recall of the information becomes a lot better. So when you are going through a lot of species, institutions, concepts, food chains, all these complicated concepts, if you don't have images, then it becomes very difficult to grasp the concept. So both revising the concepts and having images for quick revision is going to aid your preparation, right? Now, this is also an important concept, the problem solving. See, it is one thing to read a concept, but it's another thing to actually solve a problem on the concept. So when you solve a problem and we are going to solve 400 such questions and these are the most important questions from such topics. So our competence and our overall understanding is going to be so good that our accuracy levels while solving prelims questions is going to be high. And I think the basic motto for you has to be to clear prelims 2022. The notification was out yesterday and this course is going to bridge that gap, right? So now when I'm also going to have few previous questions as to tell you how this course can be beneficial for you. One thing. So this question asks us about biogeochemical cycles. I think you must have read about it in the book. So if it is asking that weathering of rocks is a main source. Now I've classified this question as a direct question, 
By direct, I mean it's basically present in the book. And these are those kind of questions which I don't expect you to get wrong, right? So, for example, if the answer to this question was phosphorus cycle, so why is it that you are going to arrive at this right answer? I hope you would not be get confused in carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, sulfur cycle. So, the basic, jo basic agenda hai through this series is that the basic sawal hai aapke, jase ye sawal ho gaya, ya fir, for example, the, if the question is on blue carbon, I expect you to get all the basic or the direct questions right with 100% accuracy. Okay? And like, for example, this question is on blue carbon. If you read the chapter on mitigation strategies or carbon sequestration, this is something you go, you're going to uh, like come across. So for this question, for example, the answer you would be knowing it's option number A, which is carbon, which is captured by ocean coastal ecosystems, right? So we are going to get these concepts, right? Now, when I'm now classifying into conceptual questions, this is where the solving the environment questions of prelims gets tricky. See, in the same year, they've asked two questions, both on Wildlife Protection Act. And both of these things are testing your concepts. How well can you apply the concept? And there is also a related concept. For example, in 2017, they asked you Schedule 1. In 2020, they have also asked you related to Schedule 6, right? So when we are going through all the important questions from our this course, we will make sure that all such concepts are interlinked in your head and you will get these concepts right, okay? Similarly, is that this uh, example wherein they are asking animals. You know, they have asked you such animals. That animal where they can't be hunted anywhere. So in such questions, you need to have a good understanding. You need to have a good understanding. Next is now these are inspired previous questions. For example, I have added this question. This is from 2018. 2018, mein, this is a multiple statement question. Which was Forest Right Act. Ke and in this, they have asked vulnerable jo PVTG groups, hote hai, primitive and vulnerable tribal groups, usko kaun si ministry uh, ek se declare and designate. Karti hai. Similar question on Forest Rights Act has been asked in 2021, in which scheduled tribes and forest rights dwellers, they have asked us the ministries. And this may be classical trap. Hai. They have mentioned Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, and they have also given you Ministry of Tribal Affairs. So the basic understanding is that through these questions, we are going to cover Forest Rights Act in detail and we will also try to answer such linked and related questions. So I hope you are able to understand. Then I think this is also a conceptual question based on food chains. So perhaps when we are going through our course, we will try and uh, answer for you how to answer such questions. Like for example, uh, in such questions, maybe you have not heard of Kope Pots or uh, Fora Minifera, but in the book, you will come across and in our course, like cyanobacteria, the blue green algae, dye atoms. So how to answer such questions and how to use elimination to answer such questions. So such application based questions will also be considered. And last but not the least, there are many institutions which one aspirant has to read about and it really gets very daunting. For example, in 2017, they have asked about traffic. Okay. And then there are institutions related to UNEP, Climate Action Network. There are different like institutions, both government and intergovernmental and non-governmental. So how to answer such questions? So in this course, we are having every chapter. And for example, when we do the institutions chapter, I will quickly summarize all the important institutions so that you are able to understand it in great detail so that you get all such questions right. Right. So now I will quickly summarize the overall agenda of this talk. Like, for example, if you join the course, you not only have the tangible benefits, tangible benefits mean you are going to get a lot of questions correct. You are going to have a lot of good learning. But there are also intangible benefits. Like, for example, you are also learning the art of arriving at the right answers by knowing only the basic concepts. Right. The second is retention. Now, for example, if you're just dryly reading a book, it might not be the best way to absorb the information, especially because you have a lot of subjects to cover and you have a lot of in, uh, information to like process. This is where such a course comes in very handy, wherein you have 400 best questions from the book, which everybody's reading. But I will make sure that through this course, the information on environment will be at your fingertips. The next thing is syllabus.
like all the species act institutions will become very fun and familiar to you so that whenever you see an environment question you will be wanting to arrive at the right answer then as i already said you are solving and learning how to solve the questions and last but not the least but the most important thing confidence going through a lot of questions on a topic and going through such repeated revisions will give you a lot of confidence and this confidence trust me is going to be very handy when you're going to actually attempt the upsc prelims paper of 2022 so with that i hope you are able to understand what this course offers to you and i really uh, encourage you to make the best use of this that said overall we are uh, at SUNY IIS, we are offering 3000 plus MCQs divided in various courses. For example, you must have seen the introduction video of modern history of polity and environment, which is uh, like happening right now. And there are other courses. For example, there is art and culture, geography, economy, ancient and current affairs. So when you do all such questions and there are 3000 very well crafted questions based on the UPSC standard, I am sure that you will be at a very good position and you will be very confident to attempt the paper. So with that said, I hope you have made a basic sense of how this course is. If you have any more doubts, please free, uh, feel free to use the YouTube comment section. We are reading your comments and we will provide you the relevant feedback. And I hope I've this, through this video, we've been able, able to communicate to you what this course offers. So thank you very much for your time and I look forward to you seeing you again.